binoculars, or what do I see? Jersey Devil, Chupacabra, half a dozen Yeti. But no matter, baby, what I do, I can't seem to find you. Hello, welcome to Featured Creatures. I'm Alan. I'm Alex. And I'm Garrett. I found a news story at the very last minute. Excellent. It's a Black Panther reported <laughs> reportedly seen crossing roadway in New Zealand. I did this one also like break box office records and stuff. <laughs> or not yet. But I did it crossing the other way of the road. I don't drive. I don't know how it works in New Zealand or anywhere. Actually, how does it work in New Zealand? They drive like British style or mm, I'm not sure. If uh, someone from New Zealand wants to let us know what side of the road you drive on. I would appreciate knowing that. Well, a New Zealand woman recently reported an encounter with a Black Panther on the east coast of South Island, according to the New Zealand Herald. Her name is Juliana Cavanaugh. Uh, she was driving with her partner, Warren Lewis, around 1130 when a huge black animal bound across the road just a few feet in front of their car. The quote from uh, Kavanaugh is, it was in full flight with a big and with it was big and sleek. With a cat's head and a huge tail. Did it embiggen their lives with power? A big cat isn't the first thing we naturally thought of after we don't live in a country where you expect to see them. But that's what it was, Kavanaugh said. I don't scare easily. I've seen some shit. But it was big, (laughs) quick, and black. And all, I was struck by how big its tail was. If that was a feral cat, it's a feral cat on steroids. (laughs) Curiosity killed the cat, but it's not the cat I'm worried about. Ooh. <laughs> so wait, you're telling me that some alien big cats can be killed with curiosity? <laughs> Curiouser yes, and curiouser. but only alien curiosity. Ah, uh, okay. Well, but he said he wasn't, you know, when the cat that he was worried about. I wonder if that's like, is was that a quote from the guy? No, that's from Kavanaugh, the woman. Yeah, I, oh, I'm liking right. that they. they well, I thought I thought it was a guy. I thought, I thought, I thought the, the partner's name was Warren. No, yeah. Warren Lewis is the partner. Oh, okay, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, there's a bunch more to this, but uh, I'll leave it up to you guys to go look it up. It's on singularfortian.com. Well, she already closed it by with that little back to you, Tom, at the studio. Yeah, exa- exactly. Exactly. Ever, ever since seeing that that video about teenage werewolves, I've wanted to do like news reporter writing because it like I think that's the new comedy form. That's Let's it. do it. That's the new. That's the new thing. I'm going. To, I'm we'll put do some, it. You got that green screen? We'll just put it up on I our know, YouTube that, channel. That's kind of what I want to do. It's just like we'll take the news reports out of this and then like just oh do God. them on our YouTube. I thought we were going to go to actual size witness horrific events. Oh, yeah, it just shook me to my core. And there you know, are when you're shaken, you run home to safety. Back to you, Tom. There are three pla- uh, There are three places that I want to go. Really, that are relatively local. Up, down, and uh, I don't know. No, I want to go uh, there. I don't know if I should tell people yet. It might be a fun surprise. All right, all right, all right. Well, you know what they say about surprises. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, back to you in the studio. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. New format. <laughs> exactly. Uh, hold on. I can't remember. I can't remember if I could do it, but I scared everyone in the house with my my white person voice. Oh, my God. Because <laughs> someone was trying to call into work, and I'm like, Hello. I would very much like to. I don't know. It just sounds kind of like you. I know, but it if I keep talking more, it gets weirder and robotic. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. let's keep that one going. Yeah, to do the whole rest of the episode. In the I would. Uh, oh, it was people were wanting to ask for days off and they just don't like asking for time off. And I'm uh-huh. like, just got to go up like I would. Oh, because Brian didn't want to ask for 420 off. It, OK, because he. He'd feel, he'd feel weird going up to his boss and asking for, hey, can I get uh, April 20th off? <laughs> just like walk up and like, uh, see Kyle, I need the Fuhrer's birthday. Uh, <laughs> like, just go that route. I was wondering. I if. know someone who died in Columbine. I was three, but it really <laughs> shook me to my core. When you're shaking. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Smith. I was wondering if I could get <laughs> April the 20th off, please. Oh, Lord God. I like this. Yeah, we're becoming machines. I just like slid into it so naturally that night, and everyone just looked at me so. <laughs> what you shook. have to do though is you have to just like use words incorrectly, just like one or two, like to suggest you don't know what words are. 
Like you've been programmed to say something, <laughs> but you can't make judgments on like what words are. Oh yeah, like uh, like embarazado in Spanish is pregnant. Yeah, I'm uh, very pregnant with the opportunity to not come to work. Exactly, exactly like that. We it, just got a new Instagram follower at this moment. It would make me I'm very, very much pregnant go to with work. these followers. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, better than being pregnant with spiders. I can I can tell you <laughs> that. <laughs> but that's the Lord. Uh, Cran organic jampers. <laughs> Cran organic jampers. You said pregnant, pregnant with spiders, which just made me think of snake eggs in the air duct, which made me think of stone quackers. I just, I don't think that would be that bad. I mean, just, I, mean I guess it depends on what kind of snakes they are, but like yeah. nine times out of ten, I think it would just be fine to have snake <laughs> eggs just hanging out. Oh, we got the crack alert. Crack that open. What is that? Oh, and we, I, we, I don't know. Is that a sponsor? Am I allowed to, Diet Dr. Pepper. Am I allowed to say they're sponsoring us? Or are they going to? No, no one's sponsoring us. We're Huge off the grid. slam oh, okay, on Diet good. Dr. Pepper there. All right, let's get today's featured creature. Okay. Who's, who's featuring for a creature? We did New A already, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, this one's fun. This one's an Egyptian one. And could technically be featured on Featured Creatures After Dark. Whoa. But, okay. Today's Featured Creature is El Nadaha. El Nadaha translates from Arabic to the caller or the one who calls. Its habitat is the Nile Delta. Nothing? (laughs) <laughs> I'm, waiting. No I'm, interested, I'm interested in this story. No comments on the name? Or, all right. All right. Fine. I'll, I'll some, make an unfunny Ventura Delta Q Blues. Style. El Nato. El Nato. Exactly. So, uh, description. It takes the form of a stunningly beautiful woman. Okay, now I'm interested. Uh. <laughs> Witnesses describe her as being a very beautiful white female. Tall, slender, with long flowing hair down her back. Sometimes seen as semi-transparent. Her voice is soft, calm, yet loud. Like Urkel. I can't do it. Yeah, that's sweet. Also I like Urkel. Do that. Suddenly more relatable. <laughs> the <laughs> It's gonna be weird to say the El Nada. <laughs> it's like the the caller. Well, I mean, if it's meant to be Egyptian and it comes from Arabic, then it's like not the same L. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure Nadaha isn't the. No, I, I mean, you're right. You're right. I mean, it's probably closer to it's probably closer to one who calls than specifically the caller. Yeah. So uh, El Nadaha is a naiad like jinn. She uses her mesmerizing, haunting voice to lure men to their death. Like Dagon? <laughs> or like a, si- a siren? I guess. All right. Egyptian Lorelei. She stands about knee-deep in the river in a long, loose, semi-transparent white dress. She doesn't... She doesn't eat them. She just drowns them. Oh, okay. oh all right. I, I guess, I mean, maybe that's kind of better. Usually targeting men in pairs, but only targeting one of the men in the pair. I see. Does the other guy just watch him drown or... Yeah, tries to stop her, his friend from dying. <laughs> Interesting. And then uh, the one who stops is usually... Tries to stop his friend is usually the next target. So the buddy system does not work as usual. She no. figured out a way to overcome it, I guess. Just like, dang it, they figured it out. They know how to not drown. They just go in pairs. How do I do this? Let's drown one first. Can't hmm. be a buddy alone. <laughs> Let me just say, I think the Egyptians are ahead of their time coming up with a like, wet t-shirt monster. I think this thing like dates back to like the 60s. Like 60 AD. 260. <laughs> no, like the 1950s. What? <laughs> I couldn't find any like ancient stories. Only stories like starting in the 50s. I swear to God. It was like a movie that somebody made and they were like, so, I totally saw it. There, there is a couple, there is a TV show. Oh my That God. is called, uh, we'll get there. Okay. We'll okay. There. All right. I'm, I'm really interested in that. So she has been known on rare occasions to fall in love with her prey. When this happens, she takes him back to her watery den, where they fucking bone for months on end. And then she drowns him, right? Because that's, I mean, 
She then eventually kills him. Yeah, that's what I figured. But it's uh, all the more painful, like in, killing your dog. She well, kills exactly. him in a, in fear of him leaving. Oh, okay. So it really is like Egyptian Lorelei. Yeah. Uh, I lost my place. Oh, she then buries her bones in her cavern. Her bones. I mean, his bones. In well, her I guess, I mean, if she's taking her. her but she's he already buried insane, his right? bone in her right. cavern for a few months. Boom, exactly. And the setup. Uh. <laughs> swish. Nothing but net. <laughs> then returns to the riverbank to start the process all over again. I see. I eat and I eat and I still feel hollow inside. Well, I guess she didn't eat. She drowns, but still. Uh, there's no, not a lot of sightings. Mm-hmm. It's just still a prominent urban legend. I see. Yeah. So it's like somebody took like Urona, but was like, instead of drowning babies, he's like drowned full grown guys. Yeah. Like, okay. And they just wrapped it up and mailed it over to Egypt, I guess. So I also couldn't find any theories. If it was a real thing. What do you guys think? I think it's embarrassing to say you drowned in knee high water. So you make up a pretty cool story. (laughs) <laughs> like after the fact, like you're dead and your corpse. No, is no, like, your buddy sees it. I drowned in hot water. I didn't drown. It was a hot woman. Yeah, I'll tell everyone your story. What if then... it, tell them my tale. What if it's a guy just being lured in by like an albino crocodile? Interesting. Like, and then like his friend, like from drunk from the shore, thinks it's like a woman in a dress, <laughs> and just sees his friend get yeah, taken down. Yeah, it was like by... translucent, man. Like I don't, I don't, I don't know. My my theory is it's. Just like a regular woman that drowns people for some so reason. So just a serial killer? It basically. And she's like, I figured it out. I'm like a regular looking person and I'm not all weird, but like I can just operate with impunity in that case. It just drowns people. I think I'm a ghost. It, there you go. Um, Who would have thought? Wet t-shirt drown people. The wet t-shirt killer. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do a news voice. Some people say the wet t-shirt goes back to Greek and Roman times. (laughs) How can a wet t-shirt kill you? Find out tonight at 11. (laughs) Some say Plato was the original architect of this. He got his toga wet. He was corrupted by Socrates. Back to Tom and conspiracy theories. (laughs) I mean, like his name. It'd be like, oh, how do you say, how do you say... Sidon is like the the suffix for water, right? What's shirt? What what's ancient <laughs> Greek for shirt? Uh, shirt. <laughs> like Toga Sidon was the progenitor of the wet T-shirt contest. No, no, a no. celebration held in honor of Vesta. It's clearly fucking a uh, Caligula had the <laughs> Bacchus is the god the god of. Oh uh, yeah, of course he invented it. These ancient this ancient Greek hooters that we found. So let's get on to pop culture. It all started when they would sell chicken wings after chariot races. (laughs) Back then they were owls, which explains the who in it. (laughs) Some say owls are known to live in trees. (sighs) Trees, of course, were important to the Greeks. Olive trees, that is. They were everywhere. (laughs) Oh, boy. Some branch has been known to fall and kill people from trees. Could this be the cause of these mysterious lost tablets of death? Hmm. <laughs> so, pop culture. Uh, as I was saying earlier, there's an Egyptian horror drama TV show called right. Doors of Fear. <laughs> uh, that has an episode that's the story of El Nada. I've been watching this new, it's kind of like a like a sexy, romantic thriller kind of show. What's it called? Doors? What was it? Doors, Doors of, of Fear. Doors of Fear. It's like the, the scary door. Wow. Nothing gets me going quite like Doors of Fear. Uh, there's a book by uh, Ahmed Khaled Tofik called The Legend of Al Nadaha. A-L. So yeah, it makes way more sense. Yeah. Yeah. That's literally the only place in any of the pages I went that had it A-L instead of E-L. Weird. And I think there's an mo- old movie by the name, but it does. when I looked at the synopsis, it was not the same. Uh, it wasn't about a monster. I see. Or a drowning. drowning victim. Really? What was the movie about? I'm curious. It was just like a regular fucking drama. I see. But no one drowned. Not that I could tell. 
All right. I mean, I want to say that's a shame because, I mean, it just seems like a like a decent legend. I'm going to check our Patreon right now. You should. Because I think we had a vote end today. Huh. All right. So we the vote that ended today, Giant Rat won. <laughs> is it just called Giant Rat? Yes. Nice. <laughs> this is going to be one of those things, though, where it's like, it's because when I hear Giant Rat, I think like Volkswagen. I think huge, like Giant <laughs> Rat. But it's going to be like 29-inch Rat. And it's just like, that's big, but it's not like, oh my God, big. So the the poll that just started uh, two hours ago. Yes. Um. So far, it only has one vote, mm-hmm. and that is for the man-eating lotus of Nubia. Okay, I like that idea. Man, but there's some good things on this one. What else? On, give me a quick rundown. Lamia. Uh huh. Okay. Striga. Well, I like Lamia. Manipogo. Uh, yeah. Hibagon. I don't know what that one is. Yeah. Japanese Bigfoot. Oh, okay. Um, so yeah, that or, one's also a river otter. No, but this one's more ape than man. Oh, that's right. This one, it's like literally like a great ape. In, yeah, it's in, fucking yeah. great. It's like not like a Bigfoot. It's like we just have a big monkey. Yep. The time when this episode drops, I can tell people what's up for vote at that time. In the lab, computer whiz kid Garrett checks on the creature. Computer, computer whiz kid Max Geiger. <laughs> the cryptid encyclopedia computer has many security measures. One, it auto sleeps to save power. <laughs> Some would say this is mistaken for a death. It's not a bug. It's a feature. The poll for uh, the 17th till the Tuesday after, or from Tuesday to Tuesday, 17th will be in the middle of it, uh, is the Merman, Ameli Nantuka, Giants. Oh boy, I love this one. Ratatosker. I don't know what that is, but Giant it's got a fun name. Norse Rat Monster. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Bigger than Giant Rat? Yes. Okay, like like me giant or like I said, like 29 inch giant rat. Like like rat giant or me giant. Like house sized? Nice. Okay. Yeah, all like right. Preposterously big. And then like food for Thunderbird. And then Caddy. Alright. Yeah. A lake monster. Okay. Can't wait for the I hope that Norse rat wins. But also the merman is fucking insane. It's not just like <laughs> A regular mermaid. It's a specific <laughs> monster called the merman. <laughs> okay, I like it. The the mermaid. So can El Nadaha kill a hippo? Well, see, I'm gonna say yes, but only. In, this is gonna sound weird, right? But only if there's two of them, right? Because that's like the, you know, it lures him over, and drowns one. So it can't kill a hippo one on one. And then God the... help it, it you know falls in love with a hippo. But it, I mean. Are are we gonna have to send the stats for this fight over to Computer Whiz Kid Max Geiger and his program from Slytherin Studios? I mean, by if by that you mean like rig up some Excel spreadsheets and just like run a bunch of like tests, yes, and then just like on a napkin like tally how many it won. Yes, yes, we do that. That's what we do. All right, we should do that. Let's take the hour long break to do that. Yeah, right. I think we gotta really send them over. Studio Magic. Hippo one. It wor- <laughs> what recount <laughs> that's it uh you know i'm, I'm because a, I'm our s- rules are one-on-one so i mean i just i feel like it could win in a handicap match so just it should count that's all I'm i saying. mean can it can it seduce a hippo i want to say yes i mean if, if we're gonna assume hypothetically no, hippos can close power, their ears it <laughs> It just blocks oh out her uh, her fucking mesmeric voice. I didn't know this. They can really close their yes. ears. Yes, they close uh, their ears, nose, and like eyes. eyes oddly enough, when they submerge, so they don't. And they, they seal themselves. Seal their body. Yep. Yeah, seal I it. thought we covered that in the hippo <laughs> episode. I don't remember this. We did. We went over it. So they just cover themselves with wacky glue. It's a, <laughs> they filled it's every orifice of their body with wacky glue. All right, all right. Yeah, yep. okay, I take it back. Hippos. Yeah, hippos I think yeah, hippos. Nope. All right, fine. In that case, yes. That, I feel like that's some Iraqi level baloney. We're just like, oh, wait, that's right. My stand ability. I can close my ears. And it just like, you Just know. use the fucking flesh spray paint. Just <laughs> Good God, yes. Uh, my God, how horrible. But yes, that's what it does. <laughs> Anything to win. Wow. Plug emendations? Uh Oh, no. I actually came up with something. Oh, I don't know. I remember. I remember. I wanted to plug Laced Records. I bought some records from them. So you broke your vow. Which vow is that? 
that you were only going to plug YouTube channels. I don't know that I feel like that was a vow. I we mean, have I feel audio like evidence. Was, I mean, it was a statement of intention, which, like, I guess is maybe legally binding. But I haven't discovered another, like, new YouTube channel or one that I, that is interesting, I guess. For her yeah, I'm on looking, YouTube. I'm looking through the thing. Yeah, I got nothing else that I want to plug. All right. All right. So yeah, Laced Records. I bought some records from them. Uh, they sell like uh, video game soundtracks and like some like interesting repressings of fairly popular records. So cool. yeah, check them out. Like what? Uh, well, I bought uh, the soundtrack for Resident Evil's one and two from them. Yeah. Uh, but if I recall correctly, they had like some uh, repressings of like some old hip hop albums and like some System of a Down stuff. So weird. All um, over. Yeah, kind of, kind of all over the place. I don't know if they're doing the pressings themselves or if they're just selling them but uh check it out yeah oh boy do i got anything i've had a crazy week i'm just gonna plug the original star wars trilogy on laserdisc <laughs> yeah i forgot you did that because that's what i did on the fourth was I watched them on my Laserdisc. Oh, you have all three? I have all three. Oh, I didn't realize the that. The only Star Wars available on Laserdisc that I don't have is Episode One. Yeah, I see. Well, and there's like the special edition of yeah. the original yeah. trilogy. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's Laserdisc is the highest quality of non-special edition you can legally get. Uh, w- legally. Actually, no, because they did, they did release non-special edition regular DVDs bundled with the special edition forever ago. But they're like preposterously expensive. And they are just rips of the laser discs. Yeah. They're still just 720. Yeah, they're the same as the laser discs. Yeah, which is I mean, the one where Guado one. shot first and Gu- killed Anakin. <laughs> Guado. <laughs> <laughs> I think you mean Guido, and <laughs> it's not. Guido. He shot the situation. A Guido is an Italian person. All right. Uh, I, think... <laughs> I can't do a Guado voice. I. <laughs> oh. I can't see. I'm. I just. Every not time that I you can't. Say, I choose not to. Every time you say Guado, I just think Seymour Guado. You mean Watto. And he, he yeah, means Watto. <laughs> I don't remember. I just remember he, he had slaves. So, you know, he's he's bad all around, you know. Yeah, but I mean, everybody was doing it on Tatooine. It was just kind of the thing. I get the feeling that he just like won them like by like <laughs> incidentally. He yeah, had got slaves, a lucky hand. Right? That easy come, Star easy Wars, go. He didn't mind Jack. that he lost him in the pod race. It wasn't his intention, right? He wasn't. He didn't like wake up and say, "I want to get some slaves." It was just like he was doing something. It was like, oh, I guess like by virtue of doing this other thing, I inconsequentially got slaves, and then hey, they got freed. So you know what? Good, good for them. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I, I shot first. I'm also gonna one. plug a uh, uh, another Instagram page. A uh, person that follows us, we follow them back. I like their Instagram page. Uh, it's I am Bookface. All right, they do YouTube videos about uh, creepy pastas and stuff, but I haven't re- had time to watch any of them. But their Instagram is fun. Uh huh. Have to give them a watch. Yeah, will do. Uh, there are some that say books predate. <laughs> Did Alan do one? I can't even. I can't even. Uh, well, I guess I don't know. Now I gotta. Gotta think. Um, yeah, you know, that book I'll skip over. But, you know, I haven't done this yet. But, you know, I am going to take Chef and Sing of YouTube channels. But, you know, I I enjoy Down the Rabbit Hole. And I'm going to try to sit down and watch this, like, five-hour Time Cube video. Interesting. I am very excited about that. That's all I got. Are people keep trying to get me to watch uh, Down the Rabbit Hole. No, he, he's actually good. His last video was about Hurdy Gurdy, which I thought was really funny. Yeah, you know, I saw that pop up because, as Garrett can attest, uh, I love the loves the Hurdy Gurdy. I really do love the Hurdy Gurdy. Oh man! When he played D and D, he picked Hurdy Gurdy as his bard instrument. Yeah, I, I love the I just idea to smash of people a, with a it. hand crank musical instrument. Yeah, and yeah, as one of one that was really big that I could drop on people. Oh wow! Yeah. No, it's it's a good one. You'll you'll enjoy it. Then. You're a, you're an orc bard. <laughs> Oh <laughs> yes! <laughs> <laughs> I, if they weren't expensive, I'd love to own one. I've seen like cheap kits for like fairly, you know, reason unreasonably mediocre uh, hurdy yeah. gurdies, but I just I don't know they're too pricey. Yeah, it's time's gone. Basically, yeah. Kaiji Hino already came. Cause yeah, this thing Kaiji Hino was here like the week before playing hurdy gurdy, and I bet. Shot it up for all 10 people who went. I know a lot of people went. I didn't get to go. I'm jealous. <laughs> all 10 people. Huge slam on. Uh, 
I don't even know what you would call that. What style of music is that? Kaiji Haino is just his own thing. But yeah, he just like screams and plays it for three hours. Interesting. And people go and check it out. Is that oh, the yeah, kind of yeah. thing where people kind of like dance in the crowd? Like, I don't think anyone dances this one. He's just, you you know, know, he, he's my, I know you know what I mean. He's too. my hero, but like, yeah, last time he came here that I saw him with his full band, Fushitsusha, it's just impossible. You couldn't even, couldn't even head bop to it. it. It was great. But like people, people don't even try. People were just stand there just phased and like Henry Rollins was there trying to, trying to hide and. Hold on like, a minute. Hold on. Henry Rollins. Oh was yeah. There. He, he loves Kaji Haino. He oh wishes my, he was Kaji oh Haino. God. No, That's, Kaji Haino is the original. That's friggin' funny. He's like he started. Years. He started the movement. He's he's punk rock. He started before. everything. He's seventy years old. He's had the same haircut forever. Is he? I'm just imagining like platinum blonde, like he's silver now. Oh my goodness! He's this yeah. tiny. He's not tiny. You know, we're, we're the same height. But yeah, he's he's just this dude who just like just destroys everything. He plays every instrument. He's tiny haircut, giant haircut, sunglasses all the time. Okay, so he he looks like. Danny DeVito when he was the when he was like the fake art yeah, yeah, but and with, Sonny but was like, like way Globian. longer hair and the wow back. and he's just been doing this since the 60s yeah, he just screams and, goes, and just you know just <laughs> randomly jumping up and down his voice walls of feedback I don't know yeah I'm not gonna do him justice this detective Pikachu coffee is too powerful plug that one wow so I just posted a picture of us recording onto Twitter at the very moment oh no <laughs> but as soon as I hit post you made that weird noise <laughs> And this is evidence. Excellent. Uh, I'll, I'll, I have another thing to plug that's actually more serious than the laser discs I own. And yeah, um, I've been listening to a friend of the show, Richard's podcast that he does with his other friend, mm-hmm. uh, 2001, the podcast. And this is pretty good. Pretty good episodes. They cover a movie and then an album for 2001. And I think one of my favorites was the oh, they just did a rat race, which was a really oh, wow, good yeah. one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and the Jurassic Park three. That yeah, sounds right. That one was good. And then they did a crossover episode with the other show that Richard does that I, the one that was on Nerd Over Shut Up where they did in Moulin Rouge. Because it's uh, yeah, I, I know that. I have <laughs> exactly. I have, I I'm going to admit that I've never seen it all and I'm OK with that. The only time I've seen it is with every single girlfriend I've ever had. I don't uh, hate it. It's good. I like it. I'll watch it again. But I'm not a fan. Uh, but we're not theater people. I think it's kind of... Oh, see, that is where you Kaiji are wrong. Kaiji Haino is theater no. people. You're not theater people. the greatest Alan of all time. Oh. Alex. That uh, felt weird in my mouth, calling you by your first name. And it is it is unusual. My my uh, boss, the called me by my first name. It was weird. Did you think you were in trouble? No, I just he, <laughs> he just did. Alex, I, just, <laughs> I thought I I thought I hallucinated. He hallucinated. Well, I mean, yeah, auditory hallucination. Is that what happens when you watch Moulin Rouge? Is that why people like it? You just hear Alex over and over. I Alex. see. This I'm <laughs> I'm in a weird spot because on the one hand, I don't want to give Moulin Rouge more credibility, but on the other hand. I've essentially made a claim to Garrett that I feel compelled to substantiate. So I can either reference the movie directly and substantiate my claim or not give it any credibility. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give it credibility. I don't want to. I don't want to. All right. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way to s- smoothly s- slide into our exit. Kaiji Haina would have no problem doing that. I'm not him, Alan, yeah. and I'll never be him. Yeah, unfortunately. Speaking no of not well. being him, have you? <laughs> you know. I want to check our email. It, that, you know what? That makes sense. Look at all this housekeeping I'm doing live on the air. Live housekeeping. That's the new thing that people are watching on Twitch. Just people doing housekeeping? Exactly. And uh, I like that we've reached the end of. So I can start all a Twitch channel of just me doing taxes. <laughs> Honestly, actually, yeah, probably. You know, uh, what do I deduct? <laughs> you know, and you could start a uh, a Patreon page. You know, if we had a Patreon page, nah, I like late. to believe that it would. No, they just uh, anyone who had an account before last. Oh, night. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. I made mine live last night, even though I've, like I've had it set up for like over a year. Although the conditions are different, are sl- were slightly different uh, when I went to set it up because like before I didn't have to have like anything and I could have just launched it. And this time it was like, you need like a cover picture and a profile picture. Yeah. And like a hundred word blurb. And I was like, what? Yeah. 
So I grabbed the worst pictures of me I possibly could that were on my phone and like made it live at yeah, like did 1140. Did you get the one from uh, our website? No, I did not use that one. They're much, I'll show you. They're much That's worse. the new, uh, oh, we'll post them on Twitter. Okay, you can you can post them. I, I didn't realize how huge my mustache like used to be because it's like reasonably trimmed right now. Yeah. But oh my God, in this photo. I look like Sam Elliott. <laughs> no, wait, this is on a what? A... See, that's the segue. No, I, See, I tried to. That's why I said I was about to. If we had my a mouth Patreon was opening, page. and then you said that, Alan, which <laughs> derailed everything again. Uh, speaking of our Patreon, <laughs> I'm thinking of adding a new tier. Really? Um, Not any of the crazy $10 million tiers that we've been, No, no. I still me have, and Alan have been trying to get those going. No, me, me and Maha talked about it last night in the hot tub. Uh huh. Because Maha has reached hot tub tier. Well, exactly. All right. He may be joining the Fikri family. Wow. Yeah. In, in it, what capacity? So it, it's not definite. We still have to talk some stuff out and like save up some money to start it. But in the relatively near future, maybe a few months, like uh-huh. four to eight months. So two episodes four to year. from now. No. Like, <laughs> basically. Um, we were talking about because uh, he knows how to do resin casting and all mm-hmm. that stuff now and 3D modeling. And we could have a Patreon tier that each month we send out a new vinyl figure or a new resin figure. Okay. Uh, At around 30 to 40 a month. We don't know yet. I see. Interesting. Yeah. I like that that idea, actually. That's pretty pretty neat. And if you do your art for us, (sighs) uh, he could 3D model them. That's true. That's true. But he already knows what he wants to do for Suchi Noko. Well, see, and that's that's the thing. My idea, because we'd go like... from first episode and then onwards yeah uh, and then we'd also open up a store to sell them too. well exactly you sell them after the fact but if you're already on the thing you just get them i mean he daniel knows how to do like 3d modeling and yeah. stuff anyway so like i think but uh my idea because first would be uh hopkinsville then mokele mm-hmm. and then for chicago phantom i'm saying it's just just model a golf cart exactly it's just a golf <laughs> cart. yeah it's just a golf that's cart. the one i want the most yeah uh, a black golf cart there. with red headlights <laughs> makes sense makes sense so uh that that's way in the future but uh right now our page our, our patreon tiers are one dollar you get our bonus episodes and uh you get a vote and the i was looking at other patreon accounts mm-hmm. i follow a couple uh every other one i find is their bonus episodes are at five dollars <laughs> wow really which is where we had ours but that just seems like so much yeah, well, we love our fans. We want them to have access to know what it means when we talk like this. So much Lost Tapes voice. I, I can't know. wait for Lost Tapes to be over. Just <laughs> We are not even there. I, I'm a fan now. I, we, we've horseshoed. I, I know. I, I love the show, and I'm glad you're starting no, to you like it. No, you hate it now, and I love no, it. No, I love it. I just don't like you doing Lost Tapes voice every five seconds. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's I've, in my nature. I've been waiting to do this over and over. We're going to do an episode where it's all a that. week is really... So you have a much better voice that you do in the Jesse Ventura voice. <laughs> but I like this one because it's bad. And the Jesse Ventura... I watched that video. You quoted it word for word. Oh, boy. The, the TMZ one. Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> like, I don't know. I can't watch... Like, I, I watched a bunch of, like, Jesse Ventura videos. They just make me sad. Our $5 tier <laughs> is... Uh, you get everything from the $1 tier. You get a sticker when you... You get our... Our logo sticker when you join, and then each month we send out, or not each month, that's insane. Uh, whenever we get a new sticker design and print them up, we send out new stickers. And these stickers are super fucking high quality. I slapped one on the back of my car, oh, and yeah. in California we had like an odd three months of hell rain. Yep. And it is still pristine on the back of my car. Still in good shape. There are some who say these stickers are vinyl. And you get a uh, diploma. Well, of course. But uh, we're going to stop by and print some out today to sign to send out. Excellent. Very nice. And you get access to our Discord server. That's the most important one right there. Yes. That's where all the featuring creaturing. That's where all uh, the talking with Maha is. Exactly. He's he's super active there. Yeah. Number one super fan. <laughs> David's active there, too. Really? See, I should get on there. Then, so yeah, you definitely there. should. I'm just so old and thus bad with technology. Me too. Which is weird because I'm very good with technology. If you have a 
any questions or stories you want to tell or anything, you can shoot us an email. The email address is featuredcreaturepod at gmail.com. Or you can send us a thing on Twitter. Our Twitter is at Fecre, F-E-A-C-R-E. And our Instagram is featured underscore creatures. But if you just look up featured creatures and see our logo, that'll be pretty much where we're there. Yeah. And remember, (laughs) all you need to do to be a cryptozoologist is to say you're a cryptozoologist. Sealed ears. I thought you were uh, going to say hurdy gurdy noise. I was going to put a sound. I, there was Just a sound I wanted to put at the end. Wacky. I'll remember there listening. There are through. some who say all you have to do to be a cryptozoologist is say you're a cryptozoologist. These are their lost tapes.